ladies, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's another Friday. This week we are doing, as you can tell by the backdrop, we are doing a beauty review. And as you probably know, because you've seen the thumbnail, it is a comparison product review on hair curlers. The most popular, most talked about hair curlers on the market. I've got to be completely honest with you. I am historically crap <laughs> doing my own hair. I bleach the hell out of it. I expect it to still be in my head in the morning. Pretty much what I do. And my Revlon One Step, which I absolutely love. A game changer for somebody who actually does not even like doing their hair like myself. So today is gonna to be a little bit challenging for me. Also the fact that I have short, medium hair. Um, a lot of these curlers are used in the demos on girls, ladies with much longer hair. So it's a little bit of a test to see, can the shorter haired girl lady have beach waves? Can she have those lovely curly, curly locks? So that's exactly what we're doing today. Let me show you the two products that I bought. Right, so the first product is this. Now, you've probably seen these advertised a lot online. They are almost like a crimping tool. I guess they kind of are. They're actually known as deep barrel wavers. Fabulous have one. Tony and Guy have one. In fact, most brands have one. Now, I picked this up on Amazon for, I believe, £22. I'll link it down below. And I think it's pretty obvious how it works. The whole thing heats up. It's ceramic. You place your hair in there. You shut it down. And then it creates that kind of wave. So you're not getting those ringlets, you're not getting those curls as such, which is fine. But I've always wanted to know what it might be like to look like you've just been running along the beach early morning and your hair has that beautiful wave in it because of the salty sea breeze, um, that kind of look. So this is kind of how it works. It's obviously corded. It came in a very, very stylish box. Um, it comes in a box like this. It didn't come with instructions, but what it did come with which scares the hell out of me, is it came with a glove. It came with a glove. So I'm assuming you, at some point through the process of curling the hair, you're touching it or, I don't know, why would you need a glove? It's a bit scary, but anyway. So that's the first product, which I will link down below for you. And that is what I'm gonna be doing on this side of my hair. On this side of my hair, I'm gonna be using, and if you haven't seen this, then you must have been underground for a long time. These are the new automatic air curlers, wireless rechargeable auto hair curler. Now, the premise is that you are to put your hair within this split in here and it sucks your hair, automatically sucks your hair and wraps it around the inner barrel. You hold it there and then you slowly, slowly lower the tool down and the hair comes out with a curl. So again, a completely different gimmick, a completely different product. I will obviously be comparing the curls, but it's not really about or who does the better curl because I appreciate this is gonna create a different curl to the three barrel because this is more of a wave, this will be more of a curl. But anyway, this again I bought on Amazon. Um, honestly, every single company is on the bandwagon here. This certain company is called Benice, but I would say 99% of all of these exact replica hair wavers are probably made in the same factory in China. They just add their own company name to it, brand name to it. So it comes in this lovely box like this um, with a little protective packet. The reason it's not in here is because I had to take it out to charge it. So it is something that you have to charge up. And this is the little bad boy. How beautiful is this? So it's obviously you want charged, charged it, you might be going away for the weekend or whatever, you take it with you, just pop it on your table. Nice solid base, ready to go. Wham, bam, thank you, man. So that is still charging, hence the reason I'll be doing that side last. So that's basically what we're doing today. It's a little bit scary for me because historically I'm pretty crap at my hair and my hair isn't in the best condition, as you know. You watch me bleach the hell out of it. Guaranteed your hair is gonna be better condition than mine. <laughs> I treat my hair like a convict. Couldn't find my tail comb, so I'm gonna be using my bleaching brush. I'm gonna do as central parting as I possibly can down the hair and down the back using my mirror and then we will start on this side with the three wave barrel curler <gasps> wish me luck ladies wish me luck you look good in the sunshine. You look not only do i look like a girl called heidi from the hills of switzerland oh 
my beautiful milky jugs. Take the temperature control seriously because in this first tool, you'll see here, you've got two options. You've got 170 Celsius and you've got 220 Celsius. 220, I would say is more for Asian hair because it's a lot thicker. It's a lot more resistant. And for probably Caucasian hair and more delicate hair, treated hair, then stick to the 170. Oh my giddy. Right, I'm gonna plug this in. There's no instructions in the box at all. So I'm just, I'm just going ad lib, going ad lib. I am out of my comfort zone and <laughs> I'm slightly panicking. This is huge, and for somebody with short hair, I would assume that I will probably only need to do it once down each section. Oh, you'll see what I mean when I'm doing it. Right, glove, does it go on the right hand or the left hand? Right, so just so you know, I have obviously um, sprayed my hair with heat defense spray. Uh, there's nothing else to point out in here apart from just here, um, it's got the number 25. Now I'm assuming that's because it's 25 mil and I think you can get smaller barrel sizes. I'm not wanting it to go to, because the trouble is because my hair's quite short, you know, it could turn into a bit of a mushroom. So I think maybe the, bar the bigger barrel is probably better. Oh, here we go. So that's why you have a glove. You can kind of test when it's nearly done. I'm going to do exactly what I've seen. Friend. Didn't care about those good on the weekends. That's a nice amount there. That's kind of the amount that I've seen girls doing. Thing to do is apparently not to go too close. How it's gonna it's on, it's on, it's on. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each oh, it's cute. It's cute. It worked. It worked. Oh my goody. It worked. So I went at it with the barrel, the two barrels either side first. And so I think the next one I'm gonna try going with the two barrels down. I know what I'm talking about, but I probably don't make any sense to you at all. Well, that worked. Um, let's just keep going. I mean, I'm not gonna speak too soon, but I suppose I could go back in just to do that bottom one. Hair idiots like myself can use these tools. Right, so now I'm coming into the front bit of my hair. As you can see, I'm pulling that front bit in. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Oh, I went in the different way then. Did you see that? So instead of having the two barrels the other way up, hang on, which way do I go now with this one? I think actually that might be the right way to go so that it comes out of the head as, opp as opposed to it coming out of the head. Yeah, that might be the best way for it to do it. Yes, I think probably at this point going forward um, is to just spray this section just quickly before I put the heat on. I'm gonna go in, yeah, I'm gonna go in like this. Well, it's definitely waving. <laughs> it's definitely waving. I'm going quite close to the head. Some of the girls that I've seen say don't go too close to the head because then it won't be a beachy way. But I think because I've got much shorter hair, I've got to kind of make up for that length, if you know what I mean, so I can get enough waves in. Whoa, I think the intention is at the end, so I'm supposed to kind of run my fingers through it, put a little bit of shine spray in it. So don't judge it too harshly at this point, but it's definitely creating a funky little curl. I'm gonna go the other way this way because it's beginning to look a bit, I don't know, like maybe it should, I'm gonna try the other way, just see what effect it gives now, which means I've got all three barrels covered over. So I guess it's really about trial and error, the kind of effect that you want. I mean, as you can see, that's kind of flutter at the root, but then it comes out immediately. Whereas this, whereas this roll, which is the one where 
you've got the two showing like that and not that way. It's very difficult to explain, but hopefully you can see what's happening. So you've got two different types of roll coming out of scalp, if you know what I mean. So whether I suppose if you want more volume of it coming out or whether you just want it to come out and then just go into a wave. But I think because I'm holding it quite close to my scalp and I'm sure you girls will tell me down in the comments. Okay, this is my front bit and this is notoriously delicate. That's not the curling tongs fault, it's my fault. Which way do I prefer the curls to go? Probably the way I've just done that last one. So here goes. <laughs> okay, oh yes, and then this tiny bit here, which is the last section. There we go. So this is the last and final section. I must admit, it's taken so much better than I thought it was going to be. So that's that entire side um, curled. Wow. Oh my goody. So I think if I did this going forward, I'd probably kind of have maybe pin it up or maybe pin it here, something that looks quite cute. As a wave, I get it. It is a wave. It's not a curl. And I can imagine if you had very, very long hair that that could look extremely pretty. Not to say this doesn't look pretty, but, but I would certainly be tempted to kind of clip it up there. It's cute. Right, moving on. I'm actually pleased I got that one out of the way first because that was the one that was actually worrying me. However, this one does have its own um, safety issues and that is the fact that it could potentially pull your entire head of hair into it. So this is the Benice. It is a wireless rechargeable auto hair curler. 39, 39.99 for this. The most talked about hair curler at the moment. So let's give this side a little go. Press and hold the power on the key, on the key, three seconds. That, press and hold the power on the key. Ooh, I heard a beep. Oh my God. It's in Chinese English. I'm having to translate this slightly. Ooh, okay, it's done. So it's reached its default. Uh, temperature of 150 degrees C. At this time you can hear a beep, which we did, and the heating indicator will be constantly lit. Then you can start to use. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't want it to suck my entire head in. Right, um, oh, how to adjust the direction of curls. Oh look, so I press and hold, and it spins like that. That's obviously what spins the hair around the heated part inside. So the heated column inside is the one that's 150 degrees and then you pop your hair in. I think I'm just gonna have to trial this out because as you know, I haven't tested this um, and it's a first impression. So this is where we open it up to the floor and it's gonna all go terribly wrong. As I did with the other side, I'm just gonna start with sections at the bottom. This machine is not waterproof, good to know. <laughs> just happened I left this on <gasps> oh my god oh my god I left it on and I left and then it was resting against this bubble wrap and it's taken the bubble wrap can you see that all down there this is this was going really really well <laughs> that's why they gave you gloves I probably should have turned it off and I probably should have should have put it on a heat proof mat instead I put it on bubble wrap Possibly not the most intelligent thing to do. Um, and now I've got a burnt finger. So, right, let's forget the injuries. Let's forget the, um, let's just go back to these wonderful curls. Look how wonderful these curls are. Yeah, I am actually quite impressed with those. I've given birth to twins, so a little burn on my finger is now. Here we go. slightly erect from my head but <laughs> it worked so what i've done is i've actually now I, i'm getting the feel of it it's um i've pushed it right up against my head so as soon as it goes near it it does pull it in not to be worried about it 
it doesn't tangle it up and then just push it up to your scalp and then it's as close to the head as possible especially obviously when you've got short hair like mine and then i'm assuming i just pull it out now and that's the other one very cute they are cute little curls and they'll probably kind of curl out quite um comb out quite nicely now i'm going in quite with quite small sections, but obviously no, you wouldn't need to do that. There's quite a lot of space in this gadget for more hair. So I'm going in, see that? It's in the gap, and then I'm pushing it up against the head, and then it sucked it in. It's working! Okay, and then you bring it out. Girl that I can really trust, no. Cause you do whatever you will. Baby, what about it? I walk away. I won't get too far. I try to stay. Right, so this is a this is an anti-clockwise curl. Your heart, that's what other people say. I yeah. walk away. There's no pull at all, there's no pain, there's no resistance, you can't even feel it. There you go. That's really cute. So I'm probably gonna to start to get a little bit faster and I'll probably fast forward this now for you. It obviously takes a lot longer than the three barrel waver, but I would say it's very much not as damaging. So it's spinning around in there. It's quite funny because um, one of my boys said this morning, mummy, what are you filming today? And I said, I'm doing some hair curling and um, Henley's face just dropped. Uh, it, will it be curly when you pick us up from school, mummy? I was real panic. I was just going to turn up with like an absolute clown hairdo. Um, I said, yeah, it probably will be curly. So I'm not going to wash it after I've done it. Um, and he was really quite panicked at that thought. If anyone's watching and you haven't subscribed, this is the time. <laughs> so if I pull out now, you'll see. See how it's slightly rounded? That is it's supposed to go straight against your head. Um, which I guess makes sense. Pop it in there. There we go. It's taking it right in. Wrapping it round. It's 150 degrees, remember. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night. We I'd be interested to know if in some, whilst it's spinning it round, whether on the inside of the outer bit, there's bristles to, to smooth it, to almost comb it round. Oh, I put more in and look at that. Pop it in against the scalp, drags it in, see it spinning round. I'm really chuffed with this. All I can say at the moment is I like both effects. What your own preference is really. <laughs> turn my head so you can see it spinning around that's what it's doing <laughs> they are amazing little curls i mean they're quite tight but which is what i'll sort out at the end but it works as a contraption as a tool as a new gimmick which you got to admit it is it works and who doesn't want a, a curling tool that is easier to do and doesn't take forever. I mean, I've got to admit, this is a little bit longer than that side, but you're getting a much kind of smoother curl. It's more of a barrel curl. So yeah, waves and curls, they're almost ringlets, aren't they? They're almost ringlets this side. The image I've got in my head is the little Irish dancers. Here you go, here's another piece here. So I'm gonna try a bit further back where we wouldn't be able to see properly. Pop it in to the scalp and then pull it through. It is amazing, isn't it? It's a bloody good invention. Right, we're working our way to the front now. We're nearly there. Oh, interesting. Right, maybe at the front. Oh, don't know. Let's change it into the right barrel because it's going away as opposed to kind of coming towards the forehead, which I think is what you need when you do curls. Goes in to the scalp and it sucks it in. Now this is going to be such a tight curl at the front. It's going to look a bit silly, but I might do to that side what I did to this side. 
Hey, baby. I took it off a little bit early before it stopped because, yeah, that's it's better to have it like that. Oh, my giddy. Oh, my giddy. This is crazy. So yeah, I suppose you don't have to go all the way to the root, but you kind of feel like you should, especially as I've got shorter hair, I feel like I need to go close to the root. But I guess you don't need to if you've got longer hair and you just want the curl towards the ends. So I, I would assume that I'm supposed to kind of run my finger. So that is just to give you an idea of what kind of curl that produces um, compared to the wave. You're my best friend, didn't care about the there you have it. Um, I've just popped a little bit of shine spray in it. Um, I'm chuffed with this. I think this is cute. I think it was quick. It was really quick compared to this side. Um, I love the wave texture. I think it's very beachy. I think it's very on trend. It still looks fairly healthy, even though it's, we all know it isn't. This side, the curls are really cute. They're just a different type of curl. They're, they are more of the ringlet type of curl. Maybe a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly this side, whereas this is a little bit more, you know, I'm a babe on the beach kind of look. Because this is more of a ringlet, it will shorten your hair. You can see this side is a lot more shorter, whereas this side it's kind of kept the length but given it that volume and texture. If your hair isn't fragile and brittle and abused like my hair, then what a great tool and very quick, very simple, and it just creates these really, really lovely beach waves. This was £20.99. pence. I will link £20.99. £20, £20 basically. Um, that is Prime on Amazon Prime, so it will come next day. You can order this now and it will arrive on your doorstep tomorrow and you can get that. The affiliate link is down below, so if you follow that, that would be amazing. But then this is just a tool in itself. I mean, it's got a lot going on, hasn't it? You're not gonna burn yourself. You can pop, stand it up on the table, on your dressing table. You don't need a plug socket. It's great for traveling. And it just depends on what kind of curl you want. I like them both. I've got to be honest, I couldn't possibly choose. Um, the link for this is down below. This was $39.99 and again, it was from Amazon. So I'm pretty chuffed with myself today. I haven't burnt my hair off, which I predicted I would do. Let me know your thoughts down below, which side you prefer or whether you like them both or maybe you are probably a pro at one of these tools. Leave your comments down below because I love seeing I love seeing your thoughts. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed my video. And I'm gonna go off now and I'm just gonna be walking down the road like this. Come on boys, let's go home. <laughs> No, I absolutely love it. It's been a really, really successful product review. So hopefully you like it too and you might pop out and get yourself one of these. So just a quick heads up for next Friday. Um, everything five pounds, spring denim, nails at home by a cruelty free brand who um, will be sponsoring that video. It's by a company called Madam Glam. So I'm gonna be doing my um, entire full set of nails with gels and stuff. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, you can see how I do it at home because I'm excited to try that and you can come along on the ride with me. Right, until next Friday, have a fabulous weekend get yourself a gin and tonic and just dream about these wonderful curls take care bye you're my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekend